Hey everyone, so the temperatures have finally gotten pretty good around here at night. It's staying consistently above 50, so we're pretty excited because we get to start planting today and get our beds going. Finally, we get to plant our annuals, and we it just feels like forever right now, and I think everybody up north still, you guys are having snow. Yeah. And I know it's been kind of a weird year for us gardeners to get out there and start, you know, planting our yeah. annuals, and um, we had to wait and have them in the garage for some couple of days and yep. but it just seemed like forever for us because we usually what we were in a zone 8 and yep. B? So 8b in north carolina and we were already it, yeah it was already <laughs> warm it was already nice it was great to start planting in early april um yeah. but here we had to wait till mid-may um so who, here we are we're getting ready to plant these uh these beds here we have some shade beds here underneath this huge maple tree and so we came up with some pretty good ideas on what we want to do here First of all, this was an area that when we first got here, I was like hydrangeas. And I was already sad when we got here because I had to get rid of some of the, the big leaf hydrangeas. Yep. All of them I had to get rid of. But we got, um, I think, you know, I'm very happy that we're going to try something different now, some other type. And we're going to talk about those hydrangeas. Yeah, so, I mean, and def this is definitely a video for those of you that have a shadier area who want to experience the colorful, uh, you know, plantings and blooms, um, showing you guys that you don't need a full sun area to have lots of color. Um, yeah. So we're putting together a good looking bed that's going to have some great color pop. It's going to be nice here in the back and can tolerate the shade as well, as well as yeah. some sun. And we've just been working in little areas of, of, you know, the garden is not that big. We're not working with a big area. So we're trying to make every space possible as special as we can. Um, with providing as much pretty as we can yep. and also growing things that are edibles here and there. Now, I don't think we're gonna do any edibles on this side. No. But, but we're excited for all the color that, you know, that it, it's a, it's what, the, the, the back where we come in and out, the gate, the back gate. Oh, yeah. So I thought it was very important to have some pretty right here. So I think Amber should talk about the beds. Yep, so we're gonna get, we're gonna start to get planting, but I wanna show you guys the beds. So these beds, um, you know, being that we deal with a lot of slopes here and a lot of, you know, uneven ground here and the soil conditions are kind of kind of different here. So we had to kind of improvise in what we do. So the beds that I built here were kind of improvising the way I built it with the slope to be able to accommodate for what we want to put in there. But I think it actually came out nice and, and I think you guys are going to enjoy the way we planted this and some, some, some ideas on how to actually you know plant on an area like this and especially in a shady area. So. And it's a temporary garden. So we have to be careful what we do because things cannot stay permanent here. So when we think of planting things and think of doing beds, yeah, we have to get really creative yep. when we're going to do these things. And a reminder that the plants are not going to be there for a long time, maybe two, two three years. Maybe two, three the, years the at most. At most three years. But uh, so okay. we're going to start getting planted. And as we go along, we'll talk about some of the plants that we're using because I'm pretty sure you guys are excited to see what we're planting. And we have some pretty awesome plants that we're putting in here that are going to do really, really well in this area. So before we start removing everything, I need to explain that we have the plants already there. When the weather started getting better, we started bringing them out. And one thing I like to do is sit plants in the space that I'm going to plant them to see how they react to the lighting, wind, whatever the case is around this area. And I've had them for a good, what, maybe About a week? A week now. And they've done great. So we're leaving them here and this is the place it's going to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and continue removing plants and I'll have Ambrose talk about, I'm thinking this is a star of this area. I'm definitely going to be the star of this area. All right, so this guy is a Let's Dance Big Easy. It's from the Let's Dance series hydrangeas. And this one is absolutely awesome. It's a big leaf hydrangea, a macrophylla hydrangea, which normally the older macrophylla hydrangeas only bloom on old wood. But the cool thing about this one is it blooms on old wood as well as new wood. So when these blooms right here through summer start to die off, the new growth will actually produce more blooms, which will go well into fall. And it's a pretty awesome hydrangea. Um, give you some of the details on it right here. It's for sun or part shade, so it's going to do absolutely well back here. It's hardy through zone 5 through 9, and it grows about 2 to 3 feet tall and wide. So it's a perfect little um, hydrangea for this area that we have here in front of the fence here in these, uh, these beds. So we're pretty excited about it. And like I said, it blooms from early summer to late summer. So um, depending on your gardening zone, it may go all the way in through to a fall with some blooms. And they start off with this nice uh, green color, and then it turns into this pink right here that you see. 
and then sometimes goes back into green towards the end of the season. And again, like I said, with the new growth, it's going to produce new blooms. All right, so we're pretty excited to get this one going. It's going to be the star of the show. We're excited to put these in there. Now, we have four of these because we have two beds. We have one that you see behind us right here and then another one on the other side of the fence. And again, we'll show some pictures up there so you can see exactly what it's going to look like before and then after they're all completed planting so let's get going we're going to get the rest of the stuff angie's moving the plants out of there we're going to just fill them up with soil and then we'll get going with the rest of it all right guys so as to not to make this video any longer i just want to show you guys real quick what we did so with the bed we basically just built a shell around the fence here so it doesn't um take up too much room but also put landscape fabric on the bottom because there's roots from this maple tree that are just traveling all along this and i tacked up some landscape fabric up against the fence here so the soil doesn't seep through the gaps here um, we got our water irrigation already ready to go once you fill it up with soil just raise it up a little bit cover it up once we get the plants in there as well but that's pretty much all there is to this bed real quick it's just a quick and easy shell to keep the soil contained and our plants in here in this area so let's get started filling this up with soil and we'll start planting so far okay I'm, I'm liking this um we went ahead and did one good size one and one small one um, i don't know if y'all can see there's a smaller one on this side and then coming in we have a bigger one and then on that side i went ahead and we decided to do the little one the smaller one here we know they're gonna grow but there's a lot of traffic right here the kids decide to <laughs> to pass through there so for now that would work until they get used to the garden <laughs> having the blooms coming out so i'm happy with that let's get going and um, let's show you some of the other plants So we talked about doing shade plants in this garden bed over here but we do get some afternoon sun over here so we have to kind of supplement with some of the plants that will do really really well with some sun and shade so what we have here is the color blaze torch light now as you know the color blaze series of uh coleus does extremely well with sun so we're going to use this one here on the end so it can tolerate that sun what we wanted to go with was what with um hippo rose now in the beginning all the planning in winter i had and looking at everything that i wanted to do on this side i was at first gonna go with hippo rose i started to notice that of course like ambrose said this area gets the more of full sun towards yep. the end of the day so there's no way i could do this we did though already experiment to see how this this plant would do with the basket right there it has the basket has hippo rose yep. so what we did we decided we're going to put it on the other side of this bed which it never gets sun on that side so Yep, it'll actually go back to the baskets, which is a really nice compliment to what we have back here. And it has sort of this, uh, what is it? The torchlight has a little bit of the pink in there. Yep. So this is an example of when you can't put, use the same plant. You can look for something yep. a little bit similar just to, you know. Let's talk about some of the other plants we're going to put in here yeah. that are shade tolerant as well. Arena. We're going to go ahead and put three terrinas on this bed. Um, this one is sun to shade. And we're going with the Catalina Midnight Blue Wishbone Flower. All right, so one that we're really excited about using in here is the new Caladiums from Prune Winters. This is uh, the heart-to-heart -heart Caladium. It's called Radiant. 
you can see it has some awesome color in it now these just got here so they're not completely grown yet they've been sitting in the garage so some of them might look a little dainty but it'll definitely grow and they'll definitely look beautiful in here now these with the more redder will deal with more sunlight so you can actually put these in sun they just require more water but they also do really really well in shade so that's what we're going to use back here in this bed to give it a little bit more pop how of many of those are now, we putting in we're actually three, gonna put right? three in this one and uh probably four in the other bed okay and then we're gonna go ahead and go with one dragon wing pink angel angel wing begonia um the begonia takes part shade to shade so i'm gonna put it on this side over here and most of these plants are going to be the same it is the same pattern on the other side all right now this one is a new potato vine uh from true winners it's called sweet caroline red hawk and what's amazing about this uh potato vine is that not only does it trail but it has an awesome look it kind of grows a little bit upright kind of a little bit of bushiness but as you can see just the design on that leaf is pretty pretty awesome looks like some of the other uh, potato vines that they have but this one like i said it's a maroonish red has some green with new growth and then a dark darker uh color leaf here and that one you said it mounds up it kind of yeah it does have a mounding kind of habit as well okay and then we have color blaze wicked witch I've been wanting this since what, last year. Yeah, so, probably one of the more favorites of the uh, the coleus. It's beautiful. So now, one thing to know, they get big. They can get really big. Yep. So I'm aware of that. The bed is not that big. So what I like to do is cut coleus and use it indoors too. Or I'll just be trimming it along, you, you know, as it's bushing up and growing. But it's not that sunny here, so it might not... No, uh, like I said, it's a shadier area, so it, it may stay a little bit more compact. I know we've grown the Color Blaze series in sun, and they get huge. So it's an experiment, too. We're going to see, and we'll be coming back and you'll, so y'all can see and doing videos, so you can see how the plants are growing. But that's kind of the color scheme we're going here. It's a little bit of the reddish, the darker. And pink. Darker, a lot of pink. Yeah, pink, darker red. Um, and then with the hydrangeas, that's obviously going to look stunning here. So we're going to get all this planted in, then we'll show you guys what it looks like at the end here. Yes. Ambrose is making fun of me because I said no more potato vine um, like how many times ago a lot every year I say I'm not gonna use it because it's like it's a plant that's always always used in our garden but I always say how important it is to use a potato vine in our garden because it's a temporary garden and it grows really quick and fast and you can put it in shade or Sun full Sun so and to be honest, there's just so many more pretty potato vines coming out from Proven Winners that I had to try this one too. And there you go. We're all done, guys. just about done here we have plenty of plants in these beds um, right here towards the uh, towards the entrance to the gate we noticed that there's gonna be a little bit of a gap but we thought about what we want to do here because of that gap so we have plenty of caladiums here that are nice and bright red and pink colors so we figured let's add some pop to it to match back to the uh, to the hanging baskets right here which have the diamond frost now in order to match back to the diamond frost what I'm gonna go ahead and put here is I'm gonna put a caladium now the caladium that I'm putting here is called snowdrift I have these from bulbs. These are jumbo bulbs. Um, so we're going to put this right here at the entrance on both sides. That way we have uh, just a little bit of pop of white in the beds. And I think it's going to look really nice and really complement, again, the hanging baskets and the rest of the bed here with all the red and pinks and, and maroonish colors, especially with the hydrangeas having that greenish white tone with the pink. Um, so with these bulbs, all we're going to do is basically, we're, these bulbs only need to go down about two inches. So we're only going to do about two inches, put them in there. We're going to add some, uh, some bulb tone in there. That way the, uh, the roots really take a hold of it. And then uh, obviously this one will take a little bit more time to grow, but we have the other caladiums that are already growing. So the bed's gonna look fantastic already. And when these come up, it'll just give it a little bit more of a oomph to it. So we're gonna go ahead and just put this in here. Like I said, just two inches down, not too much. Add a little bit of bolt tone in the soil there. Again, like I said, just cover that about two inches. And when that guy comes up, it'll just 
again give it a nice little look to this entrance right here okay so we are all done and we are very very happy with the outcome um, I wanted my hydrangeas and as soon like I explained as soon as we arrived here this to me said hydrangeas and I'm so happy that we actually got it done so we had to squeeze in an extra plant or two um, it's always different once it's already set in thank goodness we had extra plants um, to be able to you know that would go back to everything um, we really filled in more with more of the caladiums so I think that would really bring a pop of color especially during summertime when things are not blooming as crazy um, I know the roses won't probably be blooming so great during the hottest time of year so the good thing is we will have all this other color down here and that was the whole purpose of having such a, a lot of plants that not just the foliage but have some um, flowers too for shade so I'm very happy with all this right now and I have right now right here the gardeners idea book from proven winners this is something that we use a lot um, all through winter um, trying to figure it out what we were gonna do we were we walked into a home in summer that we had to do everything redo everything meaning you know with four kids um, for new viewers who are military families so we move around every three two years and it had been time for us last summer to move so yeah we had a lot going for us we knew we wanted to continue a garden in our new place but we didn't know what we were going to walk into and we walked into a lot of different um areas to garden so very different gardening than the last place so we had a lot to do the kids needed you know to readjust themselves and us as well to a new home a new house the house inside needed to get done and we wanted to get going as soon as possible with the garden so we love putting things together but sometimes it's nice to get some inspiration from somewhere else and not as fancy as the word inspiration um copy you go ahead and copy something and they put so much time proven winners into the books that they make the catalogs that they make they actually have a book too so what i wanted to explain i know that sometimes we get questions on um, where do we get inspired from sometimes we do come up with our own things um, we're not professional landscapers by any means we just love to garden but with everything that we had thrown at us last summer and we knew we needed to get going and pick out the right plants and everything that we wanted for a garden we started shopping really early putting our orders in so we made sure we knew what we were going to get um, as soon as I saw what proving winners had put out I just knew this section right here that's what I wanted I told Ambrose I think that would be perfect if we could make some beds on the side of the fence on the both sides and go ahead and go with something like this but the great thing about it is yes go ahead and copy go ahead and get really inspired but there's always something of your personality put in there like we love roses so the roses are in there now we you know use a couple of other different plants in 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 here in the beds that weren't all the same from from the catalog um, we went ahead and did our baskets so it could go back to it so we figured out other ways and made it our own in in another way and I think that's just a, an important thing to do if you don't know where to start um, whatever the situation like we had just a crazy crazy summer and everything that we had to do we're still trying guys to to get used to the area and still trying to get um, the house going um, but a garden is important to us because it's a place that we can come out and we can enjoy so this is where we got our inspiration for this year we do love to put things together on our own but it was crazy so this came from a lot of help so if any of y'all want to go ahead and get inspired don't know where to start from this is a great place you don't have to use the same colors you can use other plants you can adjust it to how you want and always go and check out the Prairie Winners website because they have so much information in there of 
all you have to do is put in your zone it'll show you the plants that you need for your area as well we are not completely done with this area um, although I am very happy that finally we are done with the two beds on the both sides I'm still working on the side with other little pots and things to just spruce up the area with more greenery um, I'm gonna plant some sprinter boxwoods later on in containers um, Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is that we are going back and forth what to do right here to cover the bottom of the of the bed. So we just we couldn't find the rocks that we wanted, and um, Ambrose actually found a bag of white rocks. So we went with that. I wasn't so happy about it, but then we let some time go by, and I d d I thought about it that it did go perfect with the house. The house has white trimming on it, so it it went perfect. Um, and the kids love it so i'm gonna have the kids have some fun um fitting out the rest of the beds with the rocks and just put a little bit of ourselves in there so thank you very much for watching guys and i hope that we were able to inspire you in um one way or another so you can bring something beautiful to your garden as well so thank you very much for watching and we will see you later bye